Welcome back, everybody. All right, joining us now. So excited to have people back in the studio, especially when they bring delicious food. This is Chef Eric Gabrinowitz. Yeah, there you go. Close perfect. enough. I'm no, going to call him Chef Eric with Tupelo Honey Southern Kitchen and Bar. Brand new yep. and having an official grand opening Tuesday. But let's talk about this new restaurant and let's, the excitement behind let's it. Let's talk about it. We uh, couldn't be more excited about being in Des Moines. What a cool town. Um, any town that loves pork as much as this town does is my kind of town. <laughs> um, so we're really excited to bring Southern Fair to this uh, beautiful city. Okay, and we when we think Southern Fair, uh, classic is? Is biscuits. 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 So we have biscuits. our cat head biscuits here today. Okay. Cat head, really simple, uh, because they're as big as a cat's head. There are two types of biscuits in the okay. South, rolled biscuits and drop biscuits. We make drop biscuits. A little bit more butter, a little bit more cream, uh, buttermilk, and that's kind of what we love to do. Okay, so, so if I'm making a drop biscuit, what mm -hmm. am I doing? So separate the wet and the dry ingredients. Okay. So right here in the dry, we have self-rising flour, sugar, a little bit of seasoning, salt, and salt itself. Okay. And in here we have buttermilk. And to the buttermilk, we're going to mix in just some melted butter. Yes, and please. And so hot melted butter into cold buttermilk. You'll get these little beads that start to form. And that is, that is the what... magic? That's the magic. That's the magic. That's what helps the biscuit rise and puff and be super beautiful and wonderful. Okay. And so now you can what take this beautiful mixture of buttermilk and butter and pour it and in I the middle. And I put it in here. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to mix this very gently. Oh. That's all right. Well, for TV, oh. we're doing it a little harshly. <laughs> they do it much better at the actual restaurant. And so the, the key to making a really good biscuit is mix it just enough. You don't want to over mix it. You don't want to create too much gluten. You want to literally just bring it together um, so it's not dry anymore, which is what we're doing here. Perfect. Now, while we're mixing up this sure. perfect batter of biscuits, let's talk about biscuits for a cause, awesome. which is huge. Uh, that's something you guys do at Tupelo. So for years at Tupelo Honey, we always gave away biscuits for free as part of our bread service. And then when the pandemic hit, we were searching for different ways to help our employees. And so what we decided to do was make the biscuits bigger and better than they've ever been, okay. charge for them for the first time ever. And all of the proceeds from that money goes into a fund, which is a certified C01, uh, certified 501c3. Yep. Um, for any employee that's going through any kind of issue, can get a grant of up to $2,000 within a week. And which so if you got into a car accident, if you are back on medical bills or anything of the sort. He's being concise, I'm just using my hand. Drop biscuit, drop right on the, yep. That, well, that'll work wow. too. Yours looks just as good as mine. <laughs> <laughs> Chef, are you hiring? <laughs> Perfect. Um, Drop. There oh, it is. Well, that one's well, not that as pretty. Not okay, as pretty. sorry. Um, so you you've r literally raised. We raised over five hundred thousand oh dollars so far. Gosh. We've distributed three hundred thousand um, dollars, and really the the amount of help that we've been able to give. I mean. I was a line cook making $10 an hour in New York City when I was coming up through the ranks, and, and it's hard. And so when anything strikes that is just a little bit outside of what you can afford, this is really helpful, and, and we're really proud to be able to do it. And you can support it by eating delicious food. Let's take a look at what they're actually supposed to look like and really quickly talk about something else that's very specific to you guys. So Tupelo honey, the name uh, comes from the Tupelo gum tree, um, and this honey is a beautiful wildflower honey that is produced um, basically in South Georgia and in Florida is where the Tupelo gum tree grows. It is a, an amazing honey. It never crystallizes. It's awesome. And that's why we named our restaurant after it. Love it. Okay. So let's just talk utter deliciousness, new restaurant in town. Most importantly, where are you guys located? Uh, on Grand Avenue, okay. right by 6th Street, uh, right by the Catholic Diocese. Okay. And uh, it is a great new build out. It's beautiful, lots of windows and light, and it's my favorite build out we've ever done. So uh, really excited to be in Des Moines. Pet friendly, amazing patio, all things to look forward to. Grand opening happening this Tuesday. Chef, thank you so very thank much. Thank you so much. All right.